Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own blaster effects for your Star Wars videos or just some lasers in general using After Effects. So you'll want to have a working knowledge of After Effects to start with probably, but I'm going to walk you through how I make my blaster effects. So I used this trick in my most recent Star Wars video where Leia rescues Luke and they shoot these red blasters and the stormtroopers shoot them. And I also used this same technique for my laser shades video a while back where we have the red and the blue lasers. Um, it's the same trick, but the coloring is just a little bit different. All right, so you've got your footage of someone pretending to shoot a blaster and you've thrown that into After Effects. So start with a solid layer. We're gonna pick red and just go ahead and throw that on there. It's a brand new layer. Then we're gonna cut out the shapes that we want frame by frame with a mask on that red layer. So it's always gonna be on top of your footage. So we're gonna make lots of different rectangles. Now the cool thing about this and using the masks is you can draw them however you want is that not only is it a straight line that could just come out the end of it, but say you're shooting towards the camera and you want it to have some perspective as it shoots towards the camera, you can just draw it that way, getting bigger as it goes towards the camera. So using the masking tool, you just go ahead and draw those points, starting with the tip of the gun, you just draw two points here, draw the other two points where you want them. Once you've drawn your shape on the first frame, make sure you have your keyframes turned on, and then on the next frame, you move it a little bit further into the distance. So you just keep adding keyframes and just moving your keyframes of that rectangle of that shape so it gets further and further away. Typically, a laser like this is going very fast, so you want it to go by probably coming out of the barrel for one frame and then it's gone. If it's a wider shot, you'll see it for two frames. If it's a really, really wide shot, you probably one, two, three, four, maybe you see it you know, going into the distance or whatever. So that's your basic shape of the blaster coming out. It matches your footage. Um, you could have it go behind somebody. When you're drawing it, just make sure it ends here and then it continues on here. So, oh, it went behind me because you didn't draw it over me. Simple as that. So you're always drawing it on top of the footage, of course, but you can make it look like it's interacting with stuff or going behind stuff. So for these red Star Wars blasters, we've already started with the red color, but go ahead and add a glow. So this is just the basic glow effect. You just drop that right on that color layer, and then you can change your settings a little bit to uh, make it the type of glow you want, how big, how small, whatever. Now this is the Star Wars blaster with red on red, but for my laser shades video, where I wanted it to be more of like a generic laser, the inside of the beam is actually white. It's kind of a trick. It looks like, oh, it's a green laser, it's a blue laser, but actually it's just a solid white layer and then the glow is the color. And the reasoning behind that is like if you're shooting this footage in real life and someone shoots a laser like that, you imagine it's so bright that it's going to just blast out to totally white and then you see the color as the light kind of dissipates. So the technique is exactly the same, it's just a matter of picking your colors a little bit differently. So that's pretty much it for the lasers and the blasters. Um, of course if you want to have them hitting something and you want to add in some sparks or explosions, you know, you can do that using a number of resources out there. Like Video Copilot has action movie essential 2 which is awesome it comes with all kinds of explosions and stuff those are already pre matted and everything so you can just drop in a little explosion line it up you know adjust the color whatever so those are really helpful too but uh, that's pretty much it for drawing out your own blasters and lasers all right so there you go I hope I didn't skip over too much stuff if you have more questions feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll definitely answer back and try and help you out be sure to check out my Star Wars video using these blaster effects and also my laser shades video and uh, stay tuned for more cool content here on dust films